especially on the path to financial success. It's easy to assume that those who've reached the pinnacle of success have had a smooth sail, untouched by the turbulent waves of challenges and problems. But let me share a truth with you, as clear and undeniable as the light of day. Successful people face just as many problems, if not more. They encounter the same kind of hurdles that you and I do. What sets them apart, however, is not the absence of problems, but their approach to solving them. It's their mindset, their decisions, and above all, their unwavering self-discipline that crafts their destiny. Imagine for a moment that life is a series of choices, each leading us down different paths. Some paths are paved with immediate gratification, offering short-term pleasure but leading to long-term stagnation or even regression. Other paths, though steeper and more challenging, are lined with the reward of lasting success and fulfillment. The difference between financial prosperity and hardship often boils down to the choices we make every day. Do we opt for instant pleasure, or do we discipline ourselves to prioritize our future? Self-discipline, in this context, is the cornerstone upon which the edifice of financial success is built. It is the ability to delay gratification, to resist the temptation of easy pleasures in favor of long-term goals. It's about making conscious choices that align with our deepest aspirations, not just for today, but for the future we dream of. Self-discipline empowers us to stick to a budget, to save rather than spend, to invest in our growth, and to persist when every fiber of our being wants to give up. Now, you might wonder, how do we cultivate such self-discipline? It starts with clarity, clarity of what we truly want out of life, not just materially, but who we want to become. This clarity fuels our motivation, providing a beacon of light guiding us through the darkest of times. It's about setting clear, achievable goals, breaking them down into actionable steps, and then, most crucially, taking action every day. We are faced with decisions that test our commitment to our goals. Will we choose the path of least resistance, or will we choose the path of growth? Consider the power of habits in shaping our financial destiny. Our daily habits, the small choices we make without even thinking, accumulate over time to create the tapestry of our lives. By intentionally crafting habits that align with our financial goals, we harness the power of the compound effect, where small consistent actions lead to significant, life-altering outcomes. As we navigate the complexities of financial decision-making, remember that it's not just about managing our money, it's about managing ourselves. The discipline to forego momentary desires for the sake of a greater future is the hallmark of true financial wisdom. It's a testament to our strength, our commitment to our vision, and our dedication to crafting a life of purpose and abundance. Choose wisely. Choose the path that leads to growth, fulfillment, and lasting success. Remember, it is not the absence of problems that defines our journey, but our response to them. And our responses have the power to shape our destiny, to transform our lives from what they are today to what they have the potential to become. This is the essence of financial success. Not just accumulating wealth, but realizing our full potential through the choices we make and the discipline we exercise every day. Where dreams are either woven into reality or unravel into the ether, the thread that consistently separates the successful from those who find themselves perennially chasing the horizon is not merely hard work, nor is it solely intelligence. It is, more fundamentally, a matter of mindset. This profound distinction in perspective is what forms the chasm between financial prosperity and perpetual want. Explore the landscapes of two vastly different realms, the abundance mindset and the scarcity mindset. Picture, for a moment, two individuals standing before a vast ocean. One sees an endless expanse of water, limitless and replete with possibilities, a source of sustenance, adventure, and discovery. The other sees an insurmountable barrier, an expanse fraught with dangers and scarcities, a reminder of their limitations. This ocean is the metaphor for life's opportunities and challenges. The individual with an abundance mindset sees boundless opportunities and potential growth in the same situation where someone with a scarcity mindset perceives only limitations and barriers. The scarcity mindset is like walking through life with blinkers on. Seeing every opportunity as a zero-sum game where one person's gain is another's loss. This perspective breeds fear, competition, and a hoarding mentality, where risks are avoided and change is feared. It's a world where the phrase, I can't afford it, is a mantra, echoing a deeper belief in one's powerlessness to change their financial destiny. 
Conversely, the abundance mindset is characterized by seeing life as a wellspring of endless possibilities. It is grounded in the belief that there is enough for everyone, and that success is not a pie with limited slices, but a constantly expanding feast to which we can all contribute and from which we can all enjoy. It champions the power of, I can, and, how can I afford it? This mindset fosters creativity, collaboration, and a willingness to take calculated risks. It is not deterred by failures, seeing them instead as stepping stones, as lessons to be learned on the path to greater success. Embracing an abundance mindset involves more than just positive thinking. It requires a shift in how we perceive and interact with the world around us. It requires us to open our minds to growth and learning, to move from a mindset that sees abilities as static to a growth mindset that views capabilities as qualities that can be developed through dedication and hard work. This shift is not merely about financial success. It's about embracing a life filled with experiences, learning, and growth. It's about moving from a state of existence where we are constantly reacting to circumstances to a state of being where we are actively creating our reality. It's about recognizing that we are not mere pawns in the game of life, but powerful players capable of making strategic moves that can change the board entirely. So, how does one cultivate this abundance mindset? It begins with gratitude, recognizing and appreciating what we already have, rather than focusing solely on what we lack. It grows through generosity, understanding that giving enriches our lives more than hoarding ever could. It's nurtured by envisioning not just what we want to achieve, but also who we want to become, setting goals that challenge us to grow, learn, and stretch beyond our perceived limits. The path to wealth and fulfillment is clear. It requires us to look beyond the immediate horizon, to see not just with our eyes but with our hearts and minds. It asks us to believe in the abundance that surrounds us, to recognize that within each of us lies the potential to create, to grow, and to prosper. It is a journey that begins with a single step, a step taken with the belief that the journey itself is as rewarding as the destination. Carry with you the torch of an abundance mindset, lighting your path with the light of possibility, growth, and endless potential. It is the light that guides us through the challenges, uncertainties, and opportunities that lie ahead. Because in the grand design of our lives, it's not just the achievements that define us, but the mindset with which we approach each step of our journey. In a tale as old as commerce itself, there lurks a seductive detour, one that has led many astray from the path of prosperity. This detour is the pursuit of short-term gratification, a siren call that beckons with the promise of immediate pleasure but often results in long-term regret. It is a path paved with impulsive spending, where the thrill of the purchase overshadows the prudence of saving, where the immediate joy of acquisition blinds us to the future cost of debt. Consider for a moment the story of a young man, let's call him John, whose journey embodies the peril of succumbing to short-term desires. John lived in a world of instant gratification, where every advertisement whispered the lie that happiness could be bought, that the key to fulfillment lay in possessing the latest, the fastest, the shiniest. And so, John spent, lured by the siren song of immediate pleasure. His credit card bills were a testimony to his lack of resistance. Yet, with each passing day, the weight of his decisions grew heavier, his financial health deteriorating under the burden of debt. But John's story, while common, is not one of despair. For within him, as within each of us, lies the power to change his narrative, to shift the focus from the immediate to the future, from gratification to gratification delay. It was a realization that dawned on him not in a moment of triumph, but in the quiet despair of recognizing the unsustainable path he was on. John understood that true financial health was not a sprint but a marathon, a journey that required discipline, focus, and an unwavering eye on the horizon of his future. The transformation was not immediate. It required John to reevaluate his relationship with money, to understand that each expenditure was not just a transaction but a decision that echoed into his future. He learned the value of long-term planning, of setting goals that stretched beyond the next paycheck, beyond the next year, to envision a future of financial stability and freedom. John's journey from the precipice of financial ruin to the solid ground of financial health was marked by the adoption of delayed gratification. He learned to find joy not in the acquisition of things, but in the growth of his savings, in the peace of mind that comes from knowing that the future is secure. He discovered that discipline, often perceived as restriction, was in fact the pathway to freedom, allowing him to make choices today that would ensure a brighter tomorrow. 
The stories of individuals like John are not merely tales of personal triumph. They're beacons illuminating the path for others to follow. They teach us that the pitfalls of short-term gratification can be overcome not through sheer willpower alone, but through a fundamental shift in perspective. They show us that by focusing on the long term, by prioritizing saving over spending, by embracing the concept of delayed gratification, we too can navigate the treacherous waters of financial temptation and emerge into the calm seas of financial security. Take inspiration from these stories, from the Johns of the world who have walked the difficult path from short-term desire to long-term fulfillment. Let their journeys remind us that the choices we make today shape the world we live in tomorrow that the sacrifice of immediate pleasure can lead to the ultimate reward of lasting prosperity. Carry with you the lessons learned from those who have walked this path before us. And with discipline and focus, choose the path of delayed gratification, the road less traveled, but the path that leads to real and lasting financial success. A road filled with twists and unforeseen turns, there lies an invaluable tool often overlooked yet indispensable. Lifelong learning, a continuous quest for knowledge that not only enriches our minds but also fortifies our financial foundations. The world we navigate is in constant flux, peaked by the relentless march of innovation and change. To stand still, to cling to the knowledge and skills of yesterday, is to risk being left behind, swept aside by the tides of progress. Consider, if you will, the nature of our economic landscape, ever evolving, driven by technology and globalization. Industries that once stood as pillars of the economy are transformed or replaced by new emerging sectors. Jobs and skills that were once in high demand become obsolete, giving way to new opportunities that require a different set of competencies. In such a world, adaptability is not merely an advantage, it is a necessity. The ability to learn, unlearn, and relearn is the hallmark of those who thrive, navigating the waves of economic change with agility and foresight. The pursuit of lifelong learning is not a passive endeavor but an active engagement with the world. It is about opening our minds to new ideas, challenging our preconceptions, and pushing the boundaries of our comfort zones. It is about recognizing that the quest for knowledge is endless, that every day presents an opportunity to learn something new, to acquire a skill, to understand a concept that was previously beyond our grasp. This commitment to continuous learning is the foundation upon which financial independence is built. It empowers us to seize opportunities that others might miss, to anticipate changes in the market, and to adapt our strategies accordingly. It enables us to diversify our income streams, to invest wisely, and to navigate. The complexities of the financial world are faced with confidence and competence, but where does one begin in this lifelong journey of learning? The answer is simple, everywhere. The resources at our disposal are vast and varied, from books and online courses to seminars and workshops. The key is to cultivate a curious mind, to seek out sources of knowledge that challenge and inspire us. It is also about learning from those around us, from mentors who have walked the path before us and can guide us along the way. One might wonder, in the face of such endless possibilities, how to maintain focus, how to discern which skills and knowledge are worth pursuing. The guiding principle should be relevance and passion. Focus on acquiring skills that are in demand, that align with the trends shaping our world. At the same time, pursue knowledge that ignites your passion, for it is our passion that will sustain us through the challenges of learning and growth. Take inspiration from those who have embraced lifelong learning as a way of life. Consider the entrepreneur who, recognizing the potential of emerging technologies, dedicates themselves to mastering new skills, staying ahead of the curve, and leading their business to new heights. Or the investor who, through constant study and analysis, is able to anticipate market trends and make informed decisions that secure their financial future. These stories are not just tales of individual success. They are a testament to the transformative power of lifelong learning. They remind us that financial independence is not just a matter of managing our money but of continuously expanding our knowledge and skills as we forge ahead on our journey. Let us embrace lifelong learning with open arms. Be adaptable, ready to navigate the changing tides of the economic landscape. Let us be curious, ever eager to explore new horizons of knowledge and understanding. It is our willingness to learn and adapt that will determine the height of the peaks we can reach. Let this be the mindset that guides us, the spirit that propels us forward as we continue to grow, learn, and achieve our financial dreams. 
There's a factor often underestimated, yet its impact is profound and far-reaching. The power of the network surrounding us. The people with whom we choose to spend our time, share our dreams, and discuss our strategies. The truth is, the journey toward achieving our financial goals is seldom a solo expedition. Instead, it's a collaborative effort, a shared voyage with like-minded, ambitious individuals who not only understand our aspirations but actively support and contribute to our growth. Imagine, for a moment, the immense potential of surrounding yourself with individuals who are not only ambitious but also generous with their knowledge, experience, and encouragement. These are the people who challenge us to stretch beyond our perceived limits, to think bigger, to aim higher. They are the catalysts for growth, the voices that urge us forward when the path becomes steep and the journey challenging. The influence of such a network is not merely additive, it's exponential. Each new connection, each shared idea, each piece of advice adds layers of value, creating a multiplier effect that accelerates our journey toward financial success. Conversely, the absence of such a supportive network, or worse, the presence of a network that drains our energy, dampens our ambitions, and clouds our vision can be a significant barrier to our personal and financial growth. It's akin to trying to sail against the current, where every stroke of the oar is met with resistance, progress is slow and laborious, and where the destination seems perpetually out of reach. A poor support network not only hampers our ability to achieve our financial goals but can also lead to a sense of isolation and discouragement, undermining our confidence and resolve. So how does one go about building and maintaining a network that not only supports but actively contributes to our financial success? The process begins with intentionality, with a clear recognition of the role that our network plays in our journey. It requires us to be proactive, to seek out individuals who share our ambition and vision, who are on a similar path of growth and development. These connections are often forged in places where ambitious minds congregate, in industry conferences, seminars, workshops, and through professional associations. They are nurtured through regular engagement, through sharing our challenges and successes, and through offering our support to others. Building a strong network also involves reciprocity. It's not just about what we can gain from our connections but also about what we can contribute. By being generous with our own knowledge, experience, and encouragement, we not only enrich our network but also establish ourselves as valuable members of it. This reciprocal nature of networking creates a positive feedback loop, where each member is both a contributor and a beneficiary, leading to a collective rise in success and achievement. Maintaining a strong network requires consistency and effort. It's about staying in touch, celebrating each other's successes, and offering support during challenges. It's about regularly sharing resources and occasionally stepping out of our comfort zone to connect with new people who can bring fresh perspectives and insights into our circle. As we navigate the complexities of the financial world, let us remember that the journey is as much about the people we meet along the way as it is about the strategies we employ and the goals we set. A strong, supportive network is not just a luxury, it's a crucial element of our financial toolkit, a source of strength, inspiration, and guidance. So let us be deliberate in building our network, selective in choosing whom we invite into it, and generous in contributing to it. Our success is not just measured by the wealth we accumulate, but by the richness of the relationships we build and the impact we have on each other's lives. We go hand in hand with our chosen network. The path to financial independence becomes not just a possibility but an inevitable journey toward shared success and fulfillment. If there is one thread that is both foundational and integral, it is the discipline of financial management. This discipline is not merely a set of practices but a mindset, a way of life that underpins every decision leading towards financial independence. It encompasses the essentials of budgeting, investing, and saving, each a pillar supporting the edifice of financial security and prosperity. The journey toward mastering financial management begins with the cornerstone of budgeting. Budgeting is not about restricting freedom, rather, it's about creating freedom. It's about understanding the flow of your resources, making informed choices that align with your long-term goals. Active budgeting involves laying out a map of your income and expenses. Identifying areas where your finances are bleeding out unnecessarily and taking corrective action. It's akin to steering a ship, making constant adjustments to ensure it remains on course towards the destined port. The first practical step then is to create a budget that reflects not just your current financial reality but also your future aspirations. 
Once a budget is in place, the focus shifts to saving. The discipline of saving is the act of paying yourself first, of setting aside a portion of your income before. You attend to your other expenses. It is about building a reservoir of resources that can sustain you through lean times and can be invested to create additional streams of income. The practice of saving requires not just discipline but also foresight, the ability to look beyond the immediate to the potential of the future. It starts with setting aside a small, manageable portion of your income, gradually increasing it as your financial situation improves. Investing, the third pillar, is where the true potential for financial growth lies. It is the process of putting your money to work for you, generating income or profit through ventures that promise returns. However, investing is not a gamble. It is a strategic move that requires research, analysis, and an understanding of your own risk tolerance. It begins with educating yourself to understand the different investment vehicles available to you and aligning them with your financial goals and timeline, whether it's the stock market, real estate, bonds, or mutual funds. The key is to start small, learn through experience, and diversify your investments to spread risk. Yet, underlying these practical steps is a principle more fundamental and critical to financial management, the principle of personal responsibility. Managing finances effectively is a personal endeavor that requires you to take ownership of your financial destiny. It's about recognizing that you are the architect of your financial future, and every decision you make, every dollar you spend, save, or invest, shapes the trajectory of your financial journey. It requires a commitment to continuous learning, adapting your strategies in response to changing circumstances, and remaining vigilant against the allure of short-term gratification that can derail your long-term objectives. Taking control of your financial destiny also involves setting clear, measurable financial goals, breaking them down into actionable steps, and tracking your progress. It's about celebrating milestones achieved while staying focused on the ultimate goal. Moreover, it necessitates building a safety net, an emergency fund that can cushion you against the unforeseen shocks that life invariably throws your way. As we navigate the complexities of financial management, let us do so with the understanding that discipline, education, and personal responsibility are our most trusted allies. Embrace the practices of budgeting, saving, and investing not as burdens but as liberators, as means to carve a path towards financial independence and security. And above all, remember that the journey to financial success is a marathon, not a sprint, requiring persistence, patience, and an unwavering commitment to our financial well-being. Let this understanding guide our actions, let discipline light our way, and let us step confidently into the role of custodian of our financial future. Empowered by the knowledge that we have the tools, the determination, and the responsibility to shape our financial destiny, let us not only secure our own future but also set an example for others to follow. Contributing to a legacy of financial wisdom and success that extends beyond our individual lives and into the vast expanse of our financial future. It's imperative to reflect on the journey that lies ahead, the journey not of chance but of choice, not of luck but of discipline. The path to financial independence is paved with deliberate actions, the mindset we cultivate, and the unwavering discipline we apply to every aspect of our lives. It's a journey that demands more from us than mere aspirations. It requires commitment, resilience, and continuous growth. As we stand ready to embark on this journey, let us do so with determination and resilience. Let us be guided by the knowledge that the road to financial independence is not linear. It will test our resolve challenge our patience, and sometimes push us to the brink. Yet, it is within this crucible of challenge that our true strength is forged, and our financial dreams are realized. Embrace this journey not just as a means to an end, but as an opportunity for self-discovery and personal growth. Recognize that each step, no matter how small, brings you closer to your goal. Celebrate your progress, learn from your setbacks, and remain steadfast in your pursuit. The discipline of financial management, the cultivation of a supportive network, and the commitment to lifelong learning are not just strategies for financial success. They are pillars upon which a fulfilling life is built. Let this moment be the catalyst for change, the point at which you decide to take control of your financial destiny. Shift from passive dreaming to active planning, from uncertainty to clarity, from what is to what could be. Make the commitment today to start making changes, however small, that will lay the foundation for a brighter financial tomorrow.
Remember that the journey towards financial independence is as much about the person you become as it is about the wealth you accumulate. So, embrace it with open arms, with a heart full of ambition, and a spirit ready to rise to the challenge. Let this not be the end but a beginning, the start of a transformative journey that leads to financial independence and beyond. Let the principles we've discussed serve as your compass, guiding you through the uncertainties and illuminating your path. And as you move forward, carry with you the belief that your financial dreams are not just possible, they are within reach, waiting for you to grasp them with both hands. Take that first step today with confidence and purpose, knowing that each step forward is a step towards achieving not just financial independence but a life of abundance, fulfillment, and unparalleled success. The journey begins now, with you, and the limitless potential that lies within. Let us embark on this journey together with courage, determination, and the unwavering conviction that the best is yet to come.